Wonder why sometimes, even though for no reason, absolutely, you put on makeup, you look fabulous, and suddenly, itching, and your face turns bleh. Well, if that feeling is happening to you, then ladies, I think you need to pay closer attention to your makeup and its expiration date. I'm the like that we feel like this is like some magic potion that will never run out of the bottle until the time it is in the bottle maybe it's one year or four years it will always remain as fresh as ever but that is a firm no and you should know the expiration dates of your products to save your face from all that damage so today i'm going to tell you about expiration dates of some common products that everyone should have in their bag so ladies if you don't have any of these well get them pronto like right now what are you doing without them and if you have them these are the dates that you need to know first up uh, is the foundation which we use as the base for our makeup now any brand of foundation that you buy most of the ones that are available now are semi liquid so you must know that the foundation expiry date is about maximum two years 12 to 24 months now how do you know that your um, foundation is supposed to be chucked into the dustbin when when it starts to become extra liquidy and the layers start to separate that you can see water on top of the foundation layer at the bottom they have separated that is the time you take this bottle and get it as far away from you as you can because it's going to cause skin damage you'll get pimples and that's just not worth it most of the times a foundation bottle like this will last you at least six to eight months so keep that cycle alive next up is my favorite product out of my beauty bag which is eyeshadow now eyeshadows last up to two years and the way you'll come to know that your eyeshadow is not in perfect condition is when you know they start to become flaky and aren't easy to put on your eyelids when they start to get strenuous well smell it and then just throw it away um eyeshadows you should remember a couple of things while taking care of them a don't keep it in bright sunlight don't keep it in you know hot places try to keep it um, in cool places like in your shelf and in your drawer and when you use eyeshadow applicators those small brushes you have to make sure to clean those brushes thoroughly after each use because that is just my growing pool of bacteria that can come from there because you're going to keep it outside and it's going to touch your eye every single end there's just like it's it's a hotbed of mess to happen so make sure you clean your eyeshadow brush every time and remember these last for about two years next up is one of the most versatile products in a beauty bag and that is the kajal which makes you go from you know sham to glam in a matter of just five minutes now kajals generally last for about six to eight months but if you're using a regular tube in which you know kajal comes out all the way here and you use it every day at least once on the top and the bottom of your eye then these will not last you more than two months so you're safe with that in case you're an occasional user of kajal then you must know that the minute you put the kajal in your eye and unless you have some sort of an eye infection if the kajal gives you like this slight irritant and you start to scratch your eye i suggest you throw it out because it's going to cause damage so six to eight months on this versatile product the kajal Next comes mascara and after you've got your eyeliner on and eyeshadow on, you're going to want to plump those eyelashes with some sexy mascara. Now mascaras last for two to three months and the minute they start to get clumpy and don't come out of the bottle right, throw that damn thing away because it's going to, you know, chipkey your eyelashes together and it's just going to be a really really bad job also mascara smell very weird if they reach past their expiration date so after about two or three months try to put a label on your products to know the expiration date um, so put a label the day that you buy the product so you know the time that you're supposed to throw it out and if it starts to get clumpy throw this thing in the dustbin and go out there and get yourself a new one Next comes the almighty compact powder. Now these powders will last you 
easily a year and if you are um, using it every day and you wear makeup every single day then these should last you one year with no problem at all but you should take special care of these in the monsoons and do not let the moisture set in because it will tend to clump and that's when um, the powder starts to go bad so the expiration date on these compacts is about a year remember that in this equation how can i forget Lipstick. Now, lipsticks will last you about six to eight months. You shouldn't use it more than that. And the easiest way to spot if a lipstick has gone bad is firstly the smell. Well, lipsticks will generally smell slightly castor oilish, but if it starts to smell funky, that's when you know you've reached the end of this one. And also when it gets too difficult to apply, like you actually have to use force to apply it, that's when the lipstick has gone. To remember, when you buy the lipstick, um, the shelf life of this is going to be maximum about six to eight months. And the final product on my basic list is the nail polish. And you absolutely don't need me to tell you how a nail polish is damaged or how you know when it's damaged. When it's dry, throw it out. When it becomes clumpy, throw it out. Or when it becomes, you know, too unmanageable. Like it doesn't come out of the bottle or doesn't, isn't smooth enough to apply, throw it out. Mostly nail polishes if kept well, which means you seal the cap properly every single time you put the cap back on and you keep it in a shady place and not directly in sunlight and you basically take good care of your beauty products and these should last you easily three months even if you change the color every odd week. But nail polishes are so versatile. Why would you use the same nail polish for three months, right? I say buy one every week, yeah. And that's it for my tiny little guide on expiration dates for beauty products. And if you like the video, don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can get videos every time straight delivered to your inbox. Till then, you can always follow me on Snapchat. I'm at The Boss Girl and I'm also at The Boss Girl on Twitter and at RadhikaS30 on Instagram. But if you want to have a little chitter chatter, I'm always up for a conversation. You can email me on thebossgirl at gmail.com. Till the next time, as I always say, lipstick is God and always be stylish.